Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knocking ring letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Are you looking forward to your first riding lesson, Julian? Yeah. Amy the vet said we've got to wear a riding hat just in case we fall off pumpkin. <laughs> I thought the idea was that you stayed on him. Amy said it's better to be safe than sorry. Who else is having a riding lesson, Julian? Mira and Sarah Gilbertson. Me and Mira are beginners, but Sarah's a really good rider. Oh, can I take an apple, Mum? Of course, love. Amy always gives pumpkin an apple. If you don't take him something nice to eat, he just runs away. Ponies aren't the only ones who enjoy a nice fresh apple. I think I'll take one too. Would you like to learn to ride, Dad? Me? <laughs> no, Julian. To tell the truth, I'm a bit scared of horses. There's nothing to be scared of, Dad. Ah, but I'm not as brave as you, Julian. <laughs> Kids, won't be a minute. <laughs> Amy's a brilliant rider. So am I. I could trot, canter, jump, and clean out a stable. I've never even sat on a pony. Oof. Oof. That's the first batch of posts, Pat. I'm going back into Pancaster to pick up some more later. Thanks, Ajay. Was your Mira excited about the horse riding lesson? Excited? She could hardly eat her breakfast. Julian wants me to learn to ride. <laughs> but I'm a bit scared of horses. I don't mind them myself. I just prefer trains. <laughs> You're doing very well, Julian. His feet are sticking out. That's OK. He'll soon learn to tuck them in. And his raids are too slack. He's doing just fine, Sarah. Gentle handling, Sarah. <laughs> they don't like gruff treatment. Huh. Got a problem, what? Julia? Oh, hello, Pat. Yes, Betty's cut her leg on some loose wire. I need the vet right away, but I don't want to leave her. Don't worry. I'll go and get Amy. 
Oh, thank you, Pat. Bera <coughs> hmm. bumped about when you were teaching her how to trot. Everybody bumps about when they're learning to trot. You soon got the hang of it, didn't you, Mira? Oh, I love riding pumpkin. <sighs> Amy, one of Julia's sheep has had an accident. <gasps> Where is it, Pat? If you follow me, I'll show you the way. OK, Pat. Mm. I'll get my bag. Mm. Children, could mm. you put Pumpkin in his stable for me? Yes, please. Cool. I know what to do. Don't forget to shut the gate now. Don't we worry. Won't. Come and say hello to Pumpkin, Dad. Well, um... Look, there's nothing to be frightened of. <laughs> He's tickling my fingers with his tongue. Give him your apple, Dad. I... well, I... <laughs> oh, that's Amy. See you later, Julian. Bye, Dad. Bye, Bye Pat. Pat. Bye. <clears throat> I'll lead Pumpkin to the stable. Come on. <clears throat> Amy said we had to treat him gently. I am being <clears throat> gentle. <clears throat> Come on. <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh, catch him! Come back! Huh? <laughs> there, there, Betty. You're all right, girl. Is Betty going to be all right? Yes. Thanks, Pat. She'll be fine. Well, I'd better get back to delivering the post. And I'd better get back to Pumpkin and the children. Thanks, both of you, for your help. Yeah. <sighs> and thank you too, Jess. La 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 la, la 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 la. Oh, Pumpkin! <laughs> What's he doing all on his own? Pumpkin! Pumpkin! Hello. Uh, where's Pumpkin? Um, he, he, he ran away. We tried to catch him. But we, um, uh, couldn't. Well, he won't have gone far. Let's go and look for him together. Mom! Mom! Pumpkin's eating oh. our lettuces! Oh, that's ever so naughty. I'm going to catch him. Hey! Come back! Pumpkin! Pumpkin! Come on, boy! Morning, Ted. Shh. How did Pumpkin get here? I don't know, but uh, we should try and catch him. If you go that way and I go this way, we might be able to grab his reins. Come to Uncle Pat. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. My apple. Of course. <laughs> Got ya. Well done, Pat. But how are we gonna get Pumpkin home? I've got the post to deliver. Can you do it, Ted? Well, uh. <laughs> Come on then, Pumpkin. I think he likes you, Pat. But what about my post round? You can ride Pumpkin to Amy's house and deliver it on your way. Pony post. But, but, 
but I've never ridden a horse before. Pumpkin! 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 Can you hear anything? No. Come on, Pumpkin. Better safe than sorry. Lucky I found that in my workshop. <laughs> Steady on, Pat. <laughs> Whoa there, boy. Easy now. Uh, nay, that can't be right, but oh dear. <sighs> <sighs> That's better. <laughs> There's your post, Pat. Thanks, Ted. Well done, Jess. <laughs> right. Off we go. <laughs> <laughs> About the van, Pat. I'll look after it till you get back. Oh, 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 oh! Wait, hey, hey! Meow. Pumpkin! 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 Where is he? Oh, pumpkin's back. Whoa! <laughs> there you go, Dorothy. Oh, Pat, I say. What's happened to your van? That's a long story. <laughs> pumpkin ate all our lettuces. I know, but he's ever so cute. Here, have a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Pumpkin! If we don't find Pumpkin soon, I'll have to tell PC Selby. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> My word, pet! Whoa there, Pumpkin! <sighs> I didn't know you could ride a horse. Neither did I, Reverend. But I'm getting to like it. See you later, <sighs> partner. <laughs> Have a good day, cowboy. Hi ho, pumpkin. <laughs> Away. It's getting late. We better go back to my house and phone PC Selby. We don't want pumpkin running loose when it's dark. Oh, poor pumpkin. <laughs> <sighs> Whoa, boy. Hey, cowboy. Get off that horse and drink some tea. <coughs> you wait here while I go and phone PC <coughs> some Pumpkin! Uh? <gasps> Dad! Pumpkin! <laughs> Where have you been? Ted found him at the water mill. So I rode him back. <sighs> Sorry, I was so bossy, Pumpkin. Mm. It, it was my fault that Pumpkin ran away. And it was nothing to do with Julian and Mira. And, mm. and I'm really sorry. It's all right, Sarah. No harm's been done. <gasps> <gasps> Here's something I forgot to give you earlier, Amy. Your letters. Delivered by Pony Post. <laughs> postman, postman pets, can you guess what's in his bag? Is there a letter? Yeah. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just.
just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red friend. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knock ring letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Well, I've got to do my rounds first, Julian. Oh, when you get back then, Dad. OK. Why don't you make a start on one, and I'll help you finish it when I get home, eh? Thanks, Dad. Bye, love. Bye, Julian. <laughs> Come on, Jess. <coughs> Cheerio. The roads are clear, Jess, in spite of the snow. Oh, oh dear. That doesn't sound right. Oh, no. Mm, we're not far from Ted Glenn's, Jess. Maybe he can fix it. Morning, Pat. Morning, Ted. Oh, dear. That sounds bad. Can you have a look at it for me? No problem. Oh, no. Oh, dear, dear. Can you mend it? Aye, but it's going to take all day. Oh, no. It'll take me ages to make my deliveries on foot, and I promised Julian I'd help him build a snowman. Well, why don't you borrow my truck? Could I? Meow. Thanks, Ted. That's very kind of you. Pat. Morning, Alf. What are you doing in Ted's truck? My van isn't working, so Ted lent me this. But now it's broken down, too. I don't seem to be having much luck today. Hey, you can borrow my tractor if you like. That won't break down on you. Oh, thanks, Alf. I wouldn't, but... Well, I promised Julian I'd get back to help him build a snowman. Bye, Pat. Cheerio. I think I can take a shortcut here, Jess. Hi, 
Sarah. Hi, Lucy. Meow. this. That's funny. It wasn't making that noise before, Jess. More tea, Vicar. Oh, bless you. Good morning, Pat. What happened to your van, Pat? Well, it's a long story. Sorry, can't stop, Nisha. Got to make up some time. Yeah. Oh, uh, bye, Pat. Meow. Morning, Pat. Morning, Ajay. Come on, Jess. Meow. What a problem. Meow. My van's broken down. Ted's mending it, and now I'm late with the post. I can lend you my motorbike. Oh, could you? Yeah. But what about Jess? No problem. Just follow me. Yeah. There. What do you think, Pat? Just the ticket, eh? A sidecar? Fantastic, Ajay. In you get, Jess. Meow. Thanks, Ajay. I must dash. See you then, Pat. Bye, Ajay. Drive safely. Hello, hello, hello. Um, hello, Arthur. Jess, out on the open road. That's better. Oh, no. We've got a puncture. Wow. The rocket. Ajay. Ajay! Stop! Stop! Ajay! Are you alright, Pat? Oh, why have we stopped? Pat? I'm sorry, Ajay. The bike's got a puncture. Can you drop me off by Greendale Farm? Yes, of course. We'll put the bike on board. No problem, Pat. Bye. Bye. Come on, Jess. This is going to take too long, Jess. Hey! Hi, Morning, Pat. Pat! What's wrong? I've got to deliver the post to Greendale Farm and I'm late. Take my sledge. It will get you there in no time. It's really fast. Here you go, Pat. Thanks, Bill. Uh, <laughs> Hop on, Jess. Off you go! Yay! Go for it, Pat! Go Yay! for it! <laughs> Help! 
Hello, Julia. Here you are. Meow. <laughs> well, I never. Hello, Pat. Hello, Pat. Hello, Tom. Hello, Katie. Oh, no. There's one more letter. Meow. And it's for Ted. Meow. Oh, how on earth did I miss it? And I'm late for Julian. You can borrow my rollerblades if you like. Oh, thanks, Tom. That'd be great. Uh... Mine, Pat. Up you get, Jess. Jess is very brave. Here we go. <laughs> Over, Pat. Oh, oh, oh. You know, uh, you shouldn't be rollerblading along a public road, don't you, Pat? Oh, oh. oh sorry, Arthur, but my van's broken down and I've got to get this letter to Ted Glenn. Oh. Well, we can't have that, can we, Pat? You come in the car with me. <laughs> Oh, hello, Pat. Your van's all done. Thanks, Ted. But I'm afraid your truck's broken down. Oh, no. It's over at Thompson Ground. Right. I'd best go and fetch it. Up in, Ted. I'll run you over there. Oh, thanks, Arthur. Glad you got the post done, Pat. Bye. Bye. Goodness me, Jess. We've driven so many different things today. Meow. But I'm glad we've got our van back, aren't you? Meow. Woo woo! Hi, Dad. I made a snow train. Wow. It's lovely, Julian. Really good. I couldn't make a snowman, though. Not without you. Can you help me make a snow AJ to go in the cab? I'd love to. Never be 
sure there'll be knock rings, letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Right, Jess, just one more parcel to deliver and we're finished for the day. Wow. Hello there, Charlie. Here you go. Oh, thanks, Pat. I wonder what was in that parcel, Jess. What is it? It's a microphone for talking into. Come on, I'll show you. Oh, there's lots of buttons, aren't there? Oh, uh, it's great, Charlie. It's for making radio. Listen. Testing, testing. One, two, three. <laughs> it works. Here, try it. Um, what do I have to do? Just speak into it. Come on, Mira. We'll see if we can hear him on this radio. But, but what am I meant to say? Oh, it's on. Um, um, hello. Um, this is Julian speaking. It works. <laughs> it really works. <laughs> uh, testing, testing one, two, three. Ooh, what are you doing? I am. Um, we're making radio. Julian, it works. Can I make radio too? We can all work on it together, if you like. Why don't we make our very own radio station? Yeah, Radio Greendale. Brilliant. We could try and get it ready for Saturday. Everybody's here, working as a team. Wait, come on, Charlie. Oh. That's enough for one night. Good morning, everyone. And here's some breakfast time music for you on this lovely sunny day. Good morning, Charlie. Morning. My, you're up early for a Saturday, Charlie. Yeah, it's Radio Greendale's first day. Oh, of course. Um, Mr Clifton... Would you come and talk on Radio Greendale? Well, I'd be honoured. Brilliant. Hi, Charlie. Come on, then. Let's go. Oh, bye. Bye. Goodbye, boys. <laughs> well, I never... Who'd have thought it, Pat? You were radio star. <laughs> I'd better be off. It's going to be a busy day. Come on, Jess. OK. Cheerio, Pat. Bye, love. Is it working? Yeah. Almost there. Right, Charlie. Is everything ready? Um, well, I've just got to... It's fine. Don't worry. Come on, Bera. You come uh... with me. We'll soon get this sorted. Oh. Testing. <laughs> Testing. Hey, that looks like fun. Can I have a go? But I, I've got to... Hey, this is DJ Bill on Radio Greendale. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. 
This is brilliant. But, oh, okay. I'll, I'll just do something else. Um, can I help sort out CDs? No, oh, it's okay, Charlie. Thanks. Oh. Maybe Tom and Katie will need some help. Hiya, Charlie. Isn't this brilliant? Yeah, but... King has a team. Oh. Oh. Hello, everyone. Are we ready? Yes! yes! But I haven't... Good luck, everyone. Got anything to do? <sighs> <laughs> Maybe I'll find someone else to play with. And welcome to our very first day on Radio Greendale. Hey, Jess. That's Bill's voice. Pat, our postman, will be on our show later. <laughs> Do you hear that, Jess? Meow. I've never been on the radio before. We'd better get this post delivered. They'll be expecting me soon. For that song, Mera. Now it's time for uh, uh... Oh no, it's time for Pat. Where is he? <laughs> oh, Pat, you made it just in time. Um, what do I have to do? It's easy peasy, Pat. Just speak into the microphone, thingy. Ooh. Oh, uh, uh, right. Hello again. It's time for our talk with Pat. Oh no. Am I too late? Shh. No, Ted. Pat's just about to start. Hello, Pat. Welcome to Radio Greendale. Oops. What have I done? All right. Never. What on earth was that? <coughs> oh, heck. Sounds like they're having a bit of bother. Maybe they could do with some help. I'll go and see what I can do. Good idea. <coughs> Hello, sheep. It was my idea to do a radio station. Well... They're probably doing much better without me. Ready to start again? Yep, I think so. So, Pat, we'd like to know all about being a postman. How do you start the day? Uh, well, well, the, the first thing... Hold on, it's not working. OK. Ready, Pat? Oh, uh, right. Uh, well, as I was saying... Uh, the first thing I do is call in at the post office to see Mrs Goggins uh, and sort through the post. Oh, there dear. I don't think Pat's meant to sound like that. Which means loading up the van. Hey, Charlie. But usually... Come and listen to this. Just letters that fit nicely in my bag. Well, Charlie. I'll have a special delivery, which means signing the bag. Here, try this button. This will get it working. No, this one. Oh, dear. Hello, Pat. 
I heard the show and I thought they might need a hand. How's it going? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, heck. What's going on? Uh, what do you think, Ted? Can we get it working? Oh, I, I reckon we just need to twiddle a couple of these here wires. <coughs> Don't worry, Jess, we'll fix it. Come on, Pat. I can't see very well. It's, it, it's all wires and stuff. Oof! Surely someone knows how to fix the radio station. Charlie! But where is he? Charlie! He's gone. But he can't be. Without Charlie, there's no Radio Greendale. What are we going to do? Don't worry, Sarah. I'll find him on my round. Goodness, we've found you. They need you down at the radio station. What, me? Are you sure? <laughs> what are we going to do now? We can't do anything. Not without Charlie. <gasps> yes! Yes! Good old Charlie! Oh, yes! Charlie! Good old Charlie! Good old Charlie! <laughs> Looks like you were right. They do need me. <sighs> OK, everyone. Let's get Radio Greendale back on the air. Right, Sarah, we need a new list for the show. Katie, Tom, sort out those buttons. Uh, Mira and Lucy, the music. Julian, you can help me. Everybody's here, working as a team. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Radio Greendale They've done it Ooh. Now, listeners, I'd like to introduce someone very important Without Charlie, we wouldn't have a Radio Greendale So come on Charlie, tell our listeners all about it Go on Charlie Oh Well, I think for radio to work, first, first you, you, well, you have to work as a team. Like a white cat All the birds 
late for work at the cafe. Wow. Cheerio, Pat. Bye, love. Morning, Julian. Oh, morning, Dad. Oh, dear. Sounds like you've got a bad cold. I wonder if you should stay at home today. I, I can't. You've got to go to work, Dad. Well, not if you're ill. I could ring Mrs Goggins and tell her I need to stay at home to look after you. Oh? Really? Yes, but only if you really are too poorly to go to school. <coughs> oh, yes. Oh, I'm definitely too poorly. All right. I'll give Mrs Goggins a ring and call the cafe to let your mum know. Meow. 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 We won't be needing the post bag today, Jess. We're staying at home to look after Julian. Meow. Meow. Oh, don't you worry, Pat. There's only a few letters today, so I'll deliver them for you. I hope we Julian is feeling better soon. <laughs> Cheerio, Pat. Oh, Bonnie. I've got post to deliver. Now, where did I put my old post hat? <coughs> oh, it'll be just like old times. Out you go and play, Bonnie. <coughs> oh, can't I sit on the sofa and watch television? No. If you're feeling ill, the best place for you is in bed. Ah, uh, hmm. I'll leave you to get some rest, but if you need anything, just ring that bell and I'll come straight up. Thanks, Dad. Meow. 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 I can't play with you, Jess. I'm supposed to be ill, remember? Meow. Meow. Oh, mm. oh this is boring. Meow. Meow. What is it, Julian? Are you OK? Uh, could you bring me my comic book, please, Dad? Yes, yes, of course. Meow? <laughs> Being ill is fun. <laughs> Meow. Hello, Bonnie. Looking for someone to play with? <coughs> Sorry, Bonnie. I've got lots of poorly animals to see today. <coughs> Hello there, Jess. Strange not to be delivering the post, isn't it? <coughs> Coming, Julian. <coughs> <coughs>
Hello, Bonnie. <laughs> Have you come to see how I'm getting on? <laughs> no, no, no. I've no time to play, Bonnie. <laughs> oh, stop it, Bonnie. You're making me dizzy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, dearie me. There you go, Julian. Thought you might be thirsty. Oh, uh, thanks, Dad. <coughs> <laughs> They're looking much better, Alf. I think they'll be fine now. Thanks, Amy. Hey, I do worry about me sheep. <coughs> me sheep! Maisie! Bessie! Mabel! What on earth's got into you, Bonnie? It's naughty to scare sheep like that. Are you still looking for someone to play with? Sorry, Bonnie. Maybe we could play later. Bye, Alf. Bye. Uh, Got to go, Bonnie. Mabel. <laughs> Yummy ice cream. Hey. Oh, uh, I mean, thanks, Dad. That'll make my sore throat feel much better. It's dangerous to play in the road. You could have been hurt. Come on. I'll take you home. What is it, Bonnie? You want me to follow you? Jess? Is that you? Well done, Bonnie. Don't worry, Jess. We'll soon get you out of there. Meow, meow. Stay with Jess, Bonnie. I'll be right back. Meow, meow. I'm coming, Jess. It's okay, Jess. I'm here now. Let's take a look, eh? Meow! 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 Hmm, looks like a broken leg. First things first, Jess. I'll give you some medicine for the pain. Then we'll get you out of here, eh? Meow! Mum! Oh, hello, sweetheart. I left work early to make sure you're all right. How are you feeling now? Oh, um, a lot better, Mum. Oh, Pat, you don't look so good. I'm fine. <coughs> Just a bit tired, love. Um, is Jess up here with you? Uh, no. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him for ages. Oh, dear. I wonder where he is. It's okay, Bonnie. We're almost there. How are you doing in there, Jess? 
Let's get you to the surgery and get that leg fixed, eh? Hello, Amy. What? Jess is hurt. <gasps> oh, no. Yes, we'll be there immediately. Mum? What's happened to Jess? He fell down a hole and hurt his leg. He's at the surgery. I'll go straight there. Oh, Dad, it's my fault. If you hadn't been looking after me, Jess wouldn't have wandered off and he'd be OK. You can't help being ill, Julian. Your dad's right, love. But, but, but I'm not ill. Oh! I was at first, then I felt better. But it was kind of fun, so I pretended. Julian! And now Jess is the one that's really ill, and it's my fault because Dad's been running around after me. Oh, I'm so sorry. We'll talk about this later. Let's go. It's OK, Jess. I'm just checking to see if you've broken any more bones. Yep. That leg is definitely broken. But we'll have it fixed in no time. I'll get it bandaged for you. I'm so sorry, Jess. Is Jess going to be OK, Amy? Yes. He'll need lots of care and attention, but he'll soon be back on his feet. I promise I'll take extra care of you, Jess. I can't thank you enough, Amy. It's Bonnie you should thank. I couldn't have found Jess without her. <coughs> thank you, Bonnie. <coughs> Come on, then. Let's get Bonnie and Jess home. <coughs> I think you need to get home too, Pat. You sound as if you're getting a cold. <coughs> I'm feeling a bit thirsty, Jess. What about you? Meow. Keep up the good work, Julian. Yes, Dad. 